Welcome to another edition of Taping Twigs with Savvy. Today we are very lucky to have an Alex Ander Ovechkin. I got this from him at the All-Star Game one year. I know it's not a Bauer he uses, but I'm going to be able to show you his tape job on his stick. Also, go to our great friends at Alaska Twigs, a new company. You can search them up online if you have a chance. And we're going to do an Austin Matthews tape job, which the fans want to see. So we're going to give it to him tonight. Also, uh, I've been getting a lot of questions uh, through Twitter, which we, we, we appreciate your input, and through YouTube. So one of the questions is the lie of a hockey stick. The lie of a hockey stick. How does it work? Which one's for me? I'm going to tell you how that works. Okay, so lucky enough we have the Gretzky still here, and we got another warrior. The Gretzky, I would say, is a lie four, and this is probably a lie five and a half, which is which I'm going to show you the difference. So here's a Gretzky. Now, the way you tell a lie is you put it down and when most of the blade is on the ice, that's how you're able to get your reading from. And then I'm going to show you the warrior, same thing, okay? So there's your two lies. Now, if I back off here, the Gretzky is a lie four, as I said, and the warrior is a lie five. Now see how they, the Gretzky's lower? So obviously, if you're using a lie four, which is the Gretzky, you're going to be skate. you're more bent over skater, that's better for you. You're going to have more, you're going to have more blade on the ice at all times. That's for a live four. Now if you're using a live five, which I would use, I'm a little bit more upright, I'm not so bent over at the knees, um, so that's why you would use a higher live. So the live four is for more of a guy who skates bent over, and the live five is for just a bit more of an upright. I think you can go all the way up to six, maybe down to four. I think that's the two ends of the spectrum. So first off, like I said, we're gonna use this Alaska twig, a new twig on the market, and I'm gonna do an Austin Matthews tape job. So first off, Austin again, and I and if you ask me, Austin's American, so is Patty Kane, that they Austin copies his tape job a little bit from back in the day. So what I'm showing you right now is how the knob is done on the Austin, very similar to the Patrick Kane. So what he likes to do, I always like to start in the back. He's gonna come around the top here like this, just doing the one roll at the top, and then coming down. Coming down a bit, keeping it tight, pulling it hard. Remember what I said? So if a stick stays longer, the harder you pull. And then at the bottom of the Austin tape job, he likes to go around twice. So I'm gonna show you. He likes to go around once, and then he likes to go around twice with the spiral movement. And then let's just break it off right there, okay? So that's how he likes to do it. Twice at the bottom, spiral down the neck. Then he's gonna take his thin white again. Okay, start at the back. We always like starting at the back of the stick for any kind of muck up or anything that looks ugly. Therefore, it's at the back of the stick. He comes down, keeping it tight, nice and tight. And then breaking it off right where those spirals are, okay? Okay, and then Austin, like McDavid, uses the blue grip tape. Again, like I said, if you're gonna do this right, go over the top just a hair, just so it stays on there good. And then Austin's gonna come down, and he's gonna break it off right at the bottom there, bang, in the back. Now, key to Austin's knob, his final touches to his knob. He's then gonna take tape, and a lot of the guys do this because this tape sometimes separates at the back. For you kids that have used it or anybody has used it, it doesn't hold on that well. So what Austin does is he'll start at the back again once, and he goes around the bottom part of the knob one time like that, break it off in the back, okay? And then what he does, like McDavid and all the boys, everybody likes to put their number on the stick, so he's gonna throw a little 34 on there for Austin Matthews. Perfect. Now, to the blade. I don't know if it's something that um, kids in America were taught how to tape a stick other than kids in Canada. I haven't figured out the, the, uh, the combo of that yet, but Austin is a toe first guy, back to the heel, like Patrick Kane. I, again, I struggle with that tape job a bit, but I'm gonna give it a go. So Austin, like Patty Kane, likes the thick tape. Now, <clears throat> what he likes to do here, very imperative early in the tape job, he likes to leave 
just a sliver of that toe sticking out. Just a sliver right there, just like that, okay? And then he comes back up the other side, like this, okay? And then we're gonna go through the tape job. Now, I am just not a great taper from toe to heel, but I do get the job done. I do get the job done, that's for sure. Okay, once you get rolling, it gets a little bit easier. And like I said, keep it tight. And when you're doing it again, if there is a couple little wrinkles, as long as you keep it tight, you can go back over those and just rub them down with your thumb, okay? Now, Austin likes to get almost all the way in the heel here, like this, right almost to the heel. He'll do his last lap, okay? Right up to the top there and break it off right along the top, perfect. Now, like I said, go back, rub those out. He leaves a little bit of that toe. Let's take our trimmers again. Get a little trim off the toe there. Okay, touch up the back. A little trim on the front side, boom. And voila, there's the Austin. Now, another question, see I've been getting. Okay, there's the Austin. That is, that is something I could probably throw in a plate tonight. I love the feel of that. Now listen, another question I've been asking and I just talked about, why toe to heel or heel to toe? Well, why, do you, why do guys do it each way? Now, I've always preferred heel to toe for the reason that when I'm skating or the way I'm going on the ice with the flow, it's with the tape job. If you go toe to heel, look, when I'm skating this way or I'm going this way to dig for pucks and I get into the crevices, look what's gonna happen as I push in to people, as I push up the ice, the tape might roll back. When you're the other way, heel to toe, you're coming this way, you can't like push and it's not gonna roll, it's just gonna keep it flat. So I have a feeling more tape jobs will get ruined toe to heel, but that's just a preference. Again, it's all preference. Okay, now onto the OV. Now, first off, I gotta show you something. People have never seen an Ovechkin live. You have to see this curve. So if you can just gun down the line here for us, just look at that toe hook on that thing, okay? Now he cups a lot of pucks right in this area and that's how he zips them, he rips them. And he uses a really whippy stick. So first off, this is his own knob. He's done this himself. So instead of me taking that knob off, which I'm not gonna do, because I'm not gonna touch his real knob, I'm gonna use a stick here to copy it. Now, again, like a couple of guys, he uses this thickness of tape, you can see there. And I'm gonna take the white first because it's thicker, it's the perfect size. And I'm gonna tape it underneath. And Ovi doesn't use a huge handle. He just kind of uses a nice, yay, big. And I'm just gonna break it off because we have red tape in the house. So anyways, we got Ovi's red and we got red here. And now what Ovi's gonna do, start at the back like all the tape jobs have. Go around, get rid of all that white on there. Come down, and he doesn't use that long of a knob. And we're gonna break it off. Right there, boom. So there you go. The OV tape job, the OV knob, perfect. Okay, so now that we've used the Warrior for that, I'm gonna go right on OV stick and I'm gonna show you OV's tape job. Not much to it. Now again, I guarantee that OV is using trainer's tape, we like to call it, Johnson & Johnson. They got this Renfrew Athletics. Two tapes you can use, they're thinner, they're lighter, and they feel better on the stick. So. Ovi's a right-handed shot, so for me to tape Ovi's stick is a little different too because he shoots the other way. We're gonna go around. Now, Ovi just likes to do the toe like this, and he likes to spread it out as much as he can. If you've seen one of Ovi's sticks, now what that's gonna do again, you don't have as much tape on the stick. So Ovi likes to spread it out as much as he can, okay? As much as he can. Sometimes you gotta go back because it just doesn't fit, but thin. Keep it thin and tight. Thin and tight so you'll have an Ovi delight. So anyways, that's how you do it. Thin, right to the end, like that. Right up the front, bam, break it off, okay? Very nicely done, very tight, okay? Now, we're gonna go get the cut, remember? This can make or break a tape job. So we're gonna go back, I'm gonna give it a nice, 
nice trim. Boom. Voila. Now, you always know it's like, is Ovi using black tape tonight or is he using white tape tonight? I just can't tell. The puck. Okay, he loves to do this with the puck. He loves to cover it. Really loves to mark it up. He likes to get it really dark. He likes to do it up. Okay, just make sure you don't ruin it. Boom. And he just loves to cover that toe, as you can see. So he's not using black tape, kids. He's using, he's using white tape marked up as much as he can with this black puck. There you go. So there's an Ovechkin tape job. If you've seen him on TV, that's what he's got going. Now, I just wanna thank you for watching another episode. And last but not least, take care of your, your twigs because they'll take care of you.